so this has largely to do with the modes of material nature that influence a person if a person is very much overcome by the modes of passion and ignorance then a person would want to worship the devatas because they give you quick benefits they're not so much concerned about wanting to know the truth they are more concerned on who can give me my benefits if a person is more of ignorance they are more concerned with so called superficial power and majesty right they want to worship shiva they might worship some uh, bhutas or some uh, you know muniandi swami because they feel power and excellence they are thinking in that physical sense but a person who has a little sattva guna uh is very important for actually they become inclined towards vishnu worship why because they are inquisitive to know the truth so bhagavad gita also mentions you know four kinds of people that come to the lord the distressed those in who i need of money those who actually want to understand what's happening and those who wants to seek the truth so this is the reason why people don't want to accept clearly they have to first be truth seekers no biasness if they have a biasness that means they are affected by some mold i like shiva better i want murugan i want this so we also grew up i remember my own life i grew up with some sense of biasness but later point i was like you know just give me the truth just tell me clearly what this whole creation is what's happening why are we here where are we are going that means there is satgun so this is the reason why so krishna is actually very kind in this sense he is not forcing everyone to love him or worship him he understands that you don't want me no problem but the reality is you cannot live without me so okay you don't want me but although you cannot live without me because you are my part and parcel no problem krishna creates via mediums which are the devatas and you can serve through them no problem